Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. This is a reading for July 2nd, 2020. It's for the sign of Sagittarius. Um, this being said, this reading here is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. So please do take what resonates with you and just, you know, leave the rest aside. Um, I do this reading pretty much every week, so please do verify next week. Perhaps the story will um, resonate more with your story, with your feelings and your current situation. If, however, you would like to have a private reading and you do have some questions you would like to have answered, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. I have a wide variety of different readings I can do for you, so please feel free if you would like to have uh, the information. You can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Also, um, if you've been viewing my channel and you enjoy my, my, you know, my um, content and you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. It's my only way of knowing you enjoy my channel and you want more. So please do subscribe and like and write me some comments. I love to read the comments. So that being said, no further ado, let's begin for our friends Sagittarius. This card here is representing your past and it's all about forgiveness. This is stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You uh, create your reality by what you think dream and imagine okay so this is all about forgiveness you need to um, forgive yourself you need to forgive partners you need to forgive friendships you need to forget anything that has hurt you into the past okay and then we're moving along here with your present card and here I have deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right so you are the only one who knows. You're the one who has the answer, but you don't quite seem to want to face it. You don't want to um, move along with this answer. It uh, doesn't quite seem to fit the situation that you want right now, but you do have the answer. So do a little bit of meditation, do a little bit of introspection, and listen to your heart. You will see that the answer lies there. And within the next six months over here, after this soul searching here and forgiveness, we have power. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So please do remember, no matter what kind of relationship you do get yourself into, if it does not suit you, you can leave whenever you want. It is always up to you. You are the master of your faith, master of your destiny. And here at the very end, I have manifesting miracles. So your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So really here, you need to always just, you know, you need to forgive. You listen to your heart. Your answer is here. Here you need to know no matter what kind of relationship you're getting into, if it does not suit you, you walk away. And over here, we're telling you again to be careful, to do a little bit of soul searching here, okay? This is about trusting your heart again. It's um, it's continuing to trust your heart, to follow the guidance also. So very, very important. I do hope that I was able to give you a little bit of message, a little bit of clarity, of guidance. I do wish you a fantastic day. Thank you so very much for being there. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button, and we will be seeing each other again tomorrow for our daily snapshot. Have a great day.